Hello. This week's Parsha is... What's this week? Shlach. This week's Parsha. Shlach. Shlach. Sh sh no! Bayes a losecha. A losecha? No, that was last week. You didn't do your homework, did you? Shlach! So it's Shlach? Your shop is coming. Yes, it is. So some of us say, some of us say Shabbos every week, Friday night, Friday night, sun goes down. So every Shabbos, every Shabbos, some of us say, some, some of, some of us say Friday night before Kiddush, before the drinking of the sacramental wine, wine. 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 <coughs> Some of us uh, say a very nice thing after a traditional song, and we thank Hashem, God if you will, creator of the universe. And we say, and we thank Him for the chesed, for the kindness, that he's done with me and my family and we thank Hashem in the future for the kindness he will do so my question is how is it that you thank Hashem for what he will do if he hasn't done it yet usually you say thank you for doing something so how do you say thank you if it hasn't happened yet It seems that Hashem, the Creator, the Universe, the Secret, if you will, responds to us in the way we see it. What does that mean? It sounds, it sounds like though if we view Hashem as doing good, then He's more likely to do good. If you view Him as a source of bracha, then it makes Him more likely to do bracha. How is that um, possible? How is that possible? How is that possible? Well, if you think about it, if someone does for you, they're so thankful, then it, then person, or they feel they feel respected, responded to, appreciated, cherished, looked after, meant, understood, and they feel good, and you become someone they want to give to because they receive that gratitude. So maybe it makes a little bit of sense to show that gratitude and say, I know you're going to do more for me because you're so good to me. And it's as though it's like this cycle and circle of positivity that comes back to you for recognizing, for recognizing the positivity being done for you and to you. We know in the book of Eov, in the book of Job, because some of us need jobs or books of Eov, or jobs, or books of Eov, and... In that book, when all these things are happening to Job, he says, all the things that I feared happened to me. So our sages teach an unbelievable thought that because he feared these things were going to happen to him, it's like a secret. He brought it, a secret, that he brought it onto himself, the things he feared, by thinking that the Creator would do bad to him it's as though it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yes, we actually believe in this sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. So it's amazing. It's amazing that if we view Hashem, God, the Creator, Master of the Universe, that He's going to rain down, do good to us, it's more likely to bring about good to us. It's as though what we perceive happens to us. It's amazing, this whole circle you put the energy out there and it, it lets your dogma run over your karma. I mean, it lets your karma... Things come back to you, how you view them. And so much so that we see in this week's Parsha by Sh... 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 What is it? Shlach. Shlach. Shlach, to send, to send out, basically back in the desert, before, before the, the Jewish, J-O-L, Jewish people 
went to the land of Israel, we were sent out a reconnaissance mission. And they went in to the land. It says somewhere in the Chumash, if only I had one. Ooh, look at that. It says that it says in uh, Ban Midbar, in the desert, number 13, um, a verse 33, that starts at Basham. It says over there, it says they, they saw us, the, the giants, they were very big people who lived in the land of Israel. They saw us as grasshoppers. But first it says, we saw ourselves in the eyes we felt that we saw, thought, we thought, we thunk, but they were thinking about us in order to think that they, the giants, thought about us as grasshoppers. Meaning, it's like this case here in Aparsha. Ah, it is real. Of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So full circle. We say at night, we say by Shabbos night, thank you for the good you do in the future, for the good and the chesed, and the kindness that God will do and the Creator will do this in the future, because we expect it. And by expecting this goodness, it helps bring that goodness to us. And we think that other people think that we're grasshoppers. And not the grasshopper, not this grasshopper, but the grasshopper, like, doesn't mean too much. Then people, the people will view us as grasshoppers. Maybe we could say about this circle, like, you think good, and it'll be good, and good things will come to you. <laughs> this is the main lesson. When the spies went in, they thought bad things. They thought they thought bad things. So they actually thought bad things. Friday night, we had this opportunity to, to thank Hashem for all the good things He does for us. Good <laughs> things. <laughs> and for the good things He will do for us. Good things. <laughs> good things. <laughs> good things. Good, th good things. It's as though it puts this energy out there that comes back, that more goodness comes to us. It's like... Imagine all the goodness that's coming to you now for watching my YouTube video. Thank you. And more than that, it's so good. The goodness comes out, the goodness comes in. And thank you, and may you have a blessed week, and may only good things come to you. Thank you so much. Come again.